All right, another video is about learning English. My heart goes. Did you skip the intro? No problem. My heart goes. Sha -la 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 -la. I know, I know. You're gonna be preaching about stuff that ain't work for me. I've been following lots of channels on these YouTube things, but uh, you know, a few months later, nothing just happened. I still suck at this language. It takes courage for me to speak out even a word and I have to translate, I have to look up in the dictionary to know that the word I'm using is in the correct form. I am torn with the decision whether should I spend an extra time to learning it or I just wait for the right time to come. And you know, the answer, most of the time. Nope, thanks anyway. Sometime I would give it a try real hard. One hour later. I don't really want to be a hated person. But anytime I see a person who can speak the English language well, I would be very jealous. There are two ways to raise one's self-esteem. The first way is to practice anything I am good at. And the second is to laugh and make fun at the other's faults. And you know where to find them? Oh yeah, the social media. Well, another gold digger. I know you guys finally would break up. Oh, scandals. Natural disasters. Fights. Burns. Wow, lots of things going on here on this. But uh, days, I don't know, months, um, absolutely years gone by. I am still me. Handsome, hilarious and a stupid language learner forever, I guess. I'm getting tired of searching and watching the funny cat videos on YouTube or just, you know, scrolling down the homepage on the Facebook without intention. And you know what? Today I'm gonna take this throw because I'm over it. Here are some tips that will tremendously Tremendous change the whole way you learn the English language. <music> Tip number one, find some easy stuff. Well, what do I mean by easy? So it, just listen to this, it is easy for you to comprehend. Now let's get more on the 20th anniversary of the BBC News Channel. In a moment, I'm going to be joined by two of the launch presenters from 1997. Easy, it means you can understand, or you can be able to understand about, maybe about more than 80% of them. For example, you can try some, uh, you know, conversation between people. You can try some radio that are very low speed speaking, or you can try some kind of student stories, and nursery rhymes, music also. You name it. And don't try to push yourself too hard because there is something that is beyond your capability. So don't try to put yourself out of the comfort zone too far. Being out of the comfort zone is okay. You're learning something new, but don't try to push yourself too far from the comfort zone. You maybe put yourself in uh, the tipping point, I, I call that the tipping point, the breaking point. Once you try to put yourself over that period, of the learning, the process, and the second that is, you might try to give up. <music> Step number two, input and output. Remember, every skill has its own inputs and output. If you want to have the output, for example, if you want to speak well, you need to input a lot in your head. So where does your speaking ability come from? Where, where, where does all the knowledge come from? Where does all the reaction and response from your body, from your vocal, from your brain come out from? It comes from the database in your brain and it is built by listening to that 
many times. If you wonder, uh, I cannot speak well, I cannot, uh, I, sometimes I can, you know, understand a piece of information, but I don't really get the information and I cannot speak our word. Absolutely, you lack of the input. Input, it means you should listen, listen a lot. Spend time to find some easy stuff, as I said at the first part, to listen to those stuff many times. It is okay to listen to one thing for my, maybe you can try that for a few weeks, for a few months maybe, you know, the language, uh, this language, I try, I learned that many years ago, about eight years ago, I just spent three months listening to one type of materials, which was about, I think that was about 20 or 30 minutes. My listening was improved a lot, improved a lot. And also my speaking skills improved a lot after that period of time. Believe me, uh, thousands, thousands of language learner have tried that method before. So if you don't know that, do it right now. Believe me, I did that. Many people did that. Don't try to be skeptical about that. No more. Do it today. Number three, body formula. <coughs> have you ever wondered that? Uh, sometimes I just don't have the motivation to learn the language. Oh yes, you are right. Because human, we are living in a collective. We are living in a group. We don't, we cannot put ourselves alone aside from time and from places, from, from people. There are just a few, you know, people who can do that. They are maybe hipsters or some kind of that, those people. But most of us who are living on earth, who are human beings. So we need buddies. We need friends. We need people to talk to. And thanks to the internet, you now have more chance to find friends. Just online. You know, you can search on Google, there are the speaking English speaking clubs. Then you can join that for, for a very few fee at every month that uh, will cost you about three or four breakfasts in a month. That, that would be not too much for the value that you get from those. Google it, do it right now. Or anybody who are living around your place, ask them if they are learning this kind of language. So could you join me and we can practice together sometime. So which, you know, learning with buddies like you have the push and pull energy all the time and you never feel like less motivated from that. And uh, me either. I don't think I am number one. I am I'm super productive and I can do things alone, especially when it comes to language learning. So you guys too, don't try to push yourself far apart from people because we are human being remember that key human being needs human being key number four tip number four upgrade yourself you know when i talk about this i remember about iron man with us you know suiting up his body i think i want to get copyright for that cut from the scene but uh Moving on. Thanks to the technology, now you have a lot of things to support you with the learning. First, you can try a dictionary. There are a lot, tons of apps on smartphone. You are in the new dawn of technology. You can get a lot from these advances. That is your iPhone. That, that is your phone, not iPhone, sorry. I'm just obsessed with iPhone. These days on YouTube, you know, a lot of people Posting stuff. No, I don't know. Okay, let's go back. All right. So you can use your smartphone to learning. Second one. Uh, if you wonder that uh, I am speaking correctly, uh, my accent is good, and uh, uh, am I speaking the right way that a native speaker can understand me? Oh yeah, I have the app to help you out and to check your voice. Uh, you don't need to use it outside as Dan Hauer. Dan Hauer, he recommended. No, I don't recommend that app because I tried that a few times and it sucks. Instead of that, you can use a free app from Google. It's called Google Assistance Apps. 
and uh, you can try that uh, that is my review for this app uh, at first uh, you should go on uh, uh, Google Play Store if you're using Android or just go on uh, iOS uh, store app store if you use using iPhone or well, some stuff like that music Google assistant uh, just that and uh, it will appear Google Allo and you just install that in your phone into the phone and then after you install that into your phone you can turn on the app and uh, it will ask you to uh, allow the access to use the microphone here and you say just accept that and then there's a microphone here I will shoot the camera microphone here and just tap on that and then say anything and then Google app will reply to your question and uh, sometimes it will be very intellectual you know just try that okay first one today's my birthday you see that so they can understand my voice and then hey let's see just happy birthday if you wanted to remember you can add it to Google account again okay. No, today is not my birthday. Okay, second thing. Uh, I want them to find me an ATM. Okay. Find an ATM. Wow. That must be awesome. And yeah, take home bank, VP bank, every home, every bank. Yeah. So there are a lot of... Okay, I would hide this. This is my place uh, where I'm living. And there are a lot of ATMs over there. And you can try to find... A restaurant or asking some stupid question that hey Google do you like me okay okay hey Google do you like me hey yeah a thousand times oh <laughs> what is that you know sometimes just this app just makes my day okay that so that is the first app the second app I would recommend it also comes from the giant Google. So you don't need to pay anything. Don't need to pay a penny for the online app. They are all suck. I had a friend. He even paid about uh, around a few hundred dollars for all these apps. But no one, none of them is better than my apps. So the second one that is Google Translate. You know, oh, okay. I know, I know Google Translate, uh, it is stupid thing, you know, sometimes they just translate word by word, and I think that is not useful. But I'll say the contrary. Okay, so uh, Google Translate here, just tap on that, and you need to update uh, the newest version of Google Translate, and there are some stuff that you can do with, uh, for example, it is... Uh, the voice input so you can enter the text uh, instead of typing it to the phone you can also speak and it will recognize your voice and uh, for example let's try okay speak now uh, it can translate directly into Vietnamese okay another one Donald Trump. Wow. Donald Trump. It can understand Donald Trump. Okay. What else? What else? The word I can say. Okay. Uh, say something nice. Okay. Say something nice. Nói cái gì đó tốt đẹp. Okay. It's pretty awesome. So that's the first thing. The second thing you can find that is, uh, you know, here there is. Uh, the camera you can capture anything that you want to translate into your own language that is Vietnamese so I need to find uh, stuff online you use your phone and then take a picture of the whole thing okay and here's what you're gonna do after you capture thing just you know tap and then you slide on the word that you want to translate into your own language just here okay and it will translate here tip number five remove distractions 
I know you really want to do this language, you really want to learn this language, but thanks to the internet, fortunately, you have lots of distractions all around you, every single minute, every second, all around you, and they all try to take your time, you know, even your phone. You know, I wake up in the morning and I left my phone at home. For about four hours, I came back and took my, you know, I, I took my phone and then there was 10 missed calls, five messages and lots of emails. Gosh, if I, if I, you know, I open my phone in the morning, so all of my time will be gone forever. Try to use your time wisely by putting your phone off before you are going to do something or just put your phone away if you are into a plan that you set before so every day you set a goal and then go for it don't try to pick up your phone and the second thing that is just deactive your Facebook account for six months half of a year I did that when I I was trying to learn I was trying to learn the, um, this kind of language and uh, people uh, most of my friends, they forgot about me because I left Facebook account for half of a year continuously for two years and you know, I, you know, I deactivated, deactivated it for six months and then I came back and I deactivated it for six months and then I came back and then they thought like, oh, okay, who the hell is this man? I don't know this guy, but it's okay because I'm learning and focusing on my life, not their life. So you should love yourself first before you love others. If you don't, all your love will be lies. And tip number six. I know I'm preaching a lot here because I've got through that period of time and I'm over it. And uh, you know, tip number six. Take the first step. Don't wait anybody to tell you to do that. There is no right time to do. Start doing it today.